Hey guys, welcome back. This is day number 42 of trading futures every day until they become profitable. So a few things to go over. I didn't have much time right after I got home today to trade PM because I had to go to an appointment. So that took up a bit of time. And then I had to run some errands, do some things for my friend and then drive a half hour to get my brother. So I had a few things to do, but I've done a lot of thinking today. So I'll share with you that and the trades that were taken today uh, by the boss man and stuff. So I'll show you guys right now. Oh, first, I thought about this last night. So basically, there's three weeks between when I finish my job on the 27th and when I leave for my trip with my family on the 18th of October. So those three weeks, I'm gonna be working on a My Funded Futures Challenge, locked in every single day, in the live sessions every single morning, trading with decent risk. It's gonna be like, it's it's not gonna be super, what's the word I'm looking for? Conservative risk. It's gonna be decent risk because I wanna see if I can pass it in those three weeks. $2,500 drawdown limit, $3,000 profit target, and then I'm gonna have that break while I'm gone for two weeks on my trip. But for the remaining two weeks that I have right now, before I'm done my job, last night I decided I'm not doing enough. I'm literally not doing enough. There's a journal section on the Discord. I need to go into that journal section, look for the best journals that explain every single trade the best, study those journals, study those models, those trades, understand them so it'll help me better grasp the concepts and um, help my recognition of setups in the live market so I can start catching them myself on top of the trades that I'm gonna take in the live streams in the morning. So yeah, enough said, I'm gonna show you guys the trades that Patty took, who's the mentor. So on top of his live stream this morning, in the PM session, he sent out like a daily bias and stuff. And then he sent out his chart here, just showing what he's looking for. He was looking for a sweep of liquidity here. I'm not sure what the significant liquidity was. That's the only thing me and my brother are struggling with right now. Like it seems like they're taking liquidities that aren't previous day high, previous day low, London low, London high, AM high, AM low. Like they're taking different liquidities that I'm not really sure on. I guess news liquidity, you can take that too, but I don't know what this liquidity was. So that's something to figure out. What is bro saying? Some more entries he's looking for. He posted this. Then he's in the trade with low risk. Hit break even on this one. This was another trade he uh, alerted here. Hit break even point, and then it went back and hit break even. So yeah, I think he did get a win. It's on his Instagram today. But yeah, for the rest of the trades, it was break even. A lot of people making hella money today. I'll show you guys right now, just like really quickly, if you guys want to see. Inverse this fair value gap. You waited for it to return to the fair value gap for a limit order, I guess. Boom, almost hit break even here. This guy went off, what the heck? Looks like over trading low key though. This was just a scalp. I don't know what the heck. Yeah, people trade so many different models here sometimes. It's hard to understand every reason for everything that they do, but that's why you gotta stick in your own lane. So yeah, that was pretty much it for that. Here's what I mean about the journals, guys. All the, a lot of members have journals here and they keep, keep their trades in here. So I can look through any of these journals for guidance on what they're doing. Like if anybody's a really good trader that I recognize in here, I can just look at their journal and get some ideas of how to trade better. So you guys, I don't have anything marked out on my chart today, just cause this is low key. The first time I really sat down today, I've been pretty busy, but yeah, sorry, didn't take a trade today. I really, really, really need to take a trade because this is my last week with this account. And I, I kind of forgot about that today, to be honest. I would have tried to fit in some time for it if, if I did remember that. I'm just a doofus, man. Like what am I doing? But yeah, I will definitely get to that i'm gonna make sure that my brother can hopefully trade my account tomorrow and even if he messes something up and like blows my account oh well it's gone at the end of the week anyway if it's still in drawdown so yeah we'll see what happens but thanks so much for keeping up with these videos guys i really appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you tomorrow for day number 43 of trading futures every day till i come become profitable definitely looking forward to the next like month or so of trading and i'm really excited about this uh, little vacation i haven't been on a vacation in like four or five years so really exciting see you guys